Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, so you know, since it's Rona and Chill season and we're all staying in the house, I decided to answer your assumptions about me and I also posted a little Q&A session on my Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here. Make sure you go follow me. But I'm gonna answer your questions and your assumptions about me. So if you wanna know the tea, keep watching. So I posted on my stories last night, what are your, some of your assumptions about me? And then I also posted a little Q&A session. So I'm gonna go through the assumptions first and then I'll go through the Q&A. Y'all get a drink, okay? Girls night with me, girls night in. Let's really enjoy this. Mm. And if you're wondering why you've seen so many different hair moments um, on my social media lately, am I going through a quarter life crisis? Possibly. But um, this wig was sent to me by Kalei Hair, and I actually really love this wig. It's a 26 inch body wave, full lace wig, and it's a good time. This is the first time I've ever really installed a wig on myself. I always just go and get my hair done. So I didn't know what I was doing, but this was very beginner friendly. I don't think it looks awful. Is it melted to the gods? Not yet, honey, but I might get there because a bitch got a lot of free time on her hand right now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to shout them out because I really do love this wig and you guys should check them out. They have tons of affordable options for wigs. This, sis, this is the T. Because when I get my wigs custom made, I usually pay anywhere from like six to $900 for everything. Go check out their prices, you're gonna be shook. Anyway, let's get into the assumptions. One of the assumptions is you don't want to strip forever. You want multiple sources of income. You're a future business owner. Period, poo. And we just spoke that into existence. That is a fact. Obviously, I don't want to strip forever. And I do want multiple sources of income. And I do just want to be a business owner. So I can never see myself going back to getting a regular job or like an employee job. That's just not my vibe. <laughs> you don't take shit from anyone. Honestly, I'm a pretty chill person. I take a lot of shit if we're being completely honest here like I mean I don't let people walk over me but I rationalize my energy a lot and I just feel like not every situation really deserves a response or really deserves for me to pop off like it's just I sometimes I let people get away with shit just because I don't think they deserve a response for me so there's that you've always been this fine no the fuck I haven't bitch I was busted and crested all through puberty, all through middle school and high school, I was duty. Bitches used to pick on me all the time. <sighs> you know what? I was never just ugly. I was broke because I don't think people really understand how much money it takes to maintain this bad bitch facade. Okay? So that's all that was. But no, I have not always been like this. This took years. This took practice. We're still not even there. This is just a little sparkle. This is not even a full glow up. You're the life of the party. Sometimes I'm the life of the party. Sometimes I'm really, truly not. It just depends on who I'm partying with. I can be really antisocial or I can really be obnoxious. You, you have lots of money because you're a stripper. I've made lots of money stripping, but just because somebody's a stripper does not mean they have lots of money. I don't think people understand there are tons of broke strippers out in this world. Um, shit happens. Shit happens and sometimes it takes a while before you learn how to start making wise financial decisions. Am I at the point where I've learned how to make wise financial decisions? I'm closer than I was before, but nowhere near as close as I should be. So there's the tea on that. You're very chilled, laid back, great personality. These are like compliments at this point, but thank you guys. I really am, I'm super chill. You're a celery drinking biscuit headed out. <laughs> yeah, basically if you follow me on Instagram, if you're from Insta stories and you got that, um, drop some leaf emojis in the comments. I'm trying to see where my real biscuits are at. You like to dance since you were a kid. That's true. I have always been in some type of like dancing program or situation or something like that. I really went for a while where I was kind of embarrassed by that. So I like kind of cut it out altogether. And I wish I didn't because then I'd be one bad coordinated mamma jamma. Bitch low key ain't got no rhythm like I used to. If you look at my TikTok, you know that. 
You generally try to stay positive. Yes, I do. Independent. Yes, ma'am. I'm a free spirit. The book, correct. I got hella niggas or hella bitties. No. My phone is dry as fuck. No, I don't have hella hoes. I suck at keeping hoes because I just stay in relationships with the same people for like 11 years. That you're a bad bitch. I'm pretty fair for a square. You know how to do what I do. You're really just a cuddly little bear. Facts, okay? I'm really a crybaby ass bitch if we're being completely honest here. You're a very confident person and you don't take shit from anyone. I am a confident person, but that's just because in the industry that I work in, like, you don't have a choice but to be confident. And that's one good aspect about, like, being a dancer that carried over into my personal life that I'm really appreciative for. Because you have to have a sense of confidence and you have to know what you bring to the table, period. So, you're fun as hell to be around 24-7, always happy. I'm not always happy. Sad girl hour does happen daily, but, you know, for the most part. You're a hard worker, outgoing, and approachable. Meh, I do what I can. You don't want a man and like being independent. Bitch, I want a man so bad. Who told y'all I don't want a man? Stop. No, I want a boo. You the boss ass bitch about her money on period, poo. So that was it for the assumptions. So let's go to, I think this one is the, so I, I said, ask anything you wanna know. So here's what y'all wanna know. Is it hard to pick a stripper name? I just Googled stripper names and I literally scrolled off a list and just picked something. So there's that. Do you love living in Tennessee? I wanna plant my roots there someday. I love it so much. I love Tennessee, but I feel like I love Tennessee because this is where I've lived the longest and this is where I truly remember growing up. Like my dad was in the Navy, so we moved around a lot when I was little. And for the longest, I never really felt like I was from somewhere. So this is the one place where I really feel like I'm from at this point. So I, I love it. Do I want to be here forever? I'm not for sure. How do you feel so confident about yourself every day? To be completely honest, I don't always feel so confident about myself. Like I know I just said that like being a dancer does make you have self-confidence because you, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to be confident. But there's a lot of times where even then I'm just not confident. Sometimes I really do have to fake it till I make it type of shit. Like, but for the most part, I just remember I'm a bad bitch, even on my worst days. I'm a bad bitch. People love me. People love you. You're a bad bitch, okay? It's that simple. What got you into makeup? Um, I was tired of being ugly. So there's that. No, yeah, no, that's honestly it. I've been playing in makeup since like middle school. Um, what made me really get into makeup and want to like play around more was I just wanted to be able to do the shit myself. That was it. I didn't want anybody. I didn't want to have to ask somebody to get me ready. I wanted to be able to do it myself on my own time. Cause once you know how to do your own makeup, you really don't need anybody. Like it's fun, but like bitch, once you know your face and you know how to slay it, nobody else can compare. Did y'all get some wine earlier when I said go get a glass of wine? What are you drinking? Let me know in the comments. Where are you from? Can you pole dance? And if I paid you, can you teach me? So I live in Tennessee right now near Nashville. Um, no, I don't do pole tricks. I probably know like two, three, less than five pole tricks. I've never really worked at a club where you had to know pole tricks to make money. Um, not everybody who's a stripper does pole tricks. There's a lot of girls who literally never go on the pole. Some clubs are more about like twerking and floor work and some clubs are more about like the acrobatics of being on the pole but I've never had a customer be like damn I was gonna tip you but you just didn't twirl on the pole enough you know so I clap these cheeks and it gets the job done and how did I get into dancing and are you born and raised in Tennessee I got into dancing because I was broke as fuck okay that was it I was working at McDonald's I was broke I had to pay my own bills like when I first went to college, my dad um, was paying for my apartment and all that stuff. Like he took care of everything. But I was such a bullshitter at college. Like I was never going to my classes. My grades were garbage. My attendance was awful. I was failing classes. And once all that happened, my dad was like, no, I'm not paying for your shit anymore. You need to start paying for your own shit. So I started working at McDonald's and I was broke as fuck all the time. And I was sick of being broke. So I said, fuck this shit, I'm gonna be a stripper. And I became a stripper. I haven't looked back since. Want a video about how I got into dancing and answering all your questions about dancing and being a stripper, being in the strip club? 
Drop those comments below and I will get to that video next. Okay, and no, I wasn't born and raised in Tennessee. I was born in Honolulu. I lived in Honolulu, San Diego. I don't know. Honolulu, San Diego, back to Honolulu, then to Connecticut, then to Tennessee. Um, I always wanna ask, but don't wanna be rude, why is your hand discolored, is it a burn? So no, this is not a burn, this is just my birthmark. Mm -hmm. When I was little, I used to get picked on so much for this and there was this group of kids at school that told me that my mom didn't love me and she left me in a fire and that my arm was burnt and I was so fucking convinced that that's what it was. And I used to cry about it all the fucking time and I used to beg my mom to just let me bleach it. I hated it so much growing up. But now I love it, it's fire, it's my little cheetah mark. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, I could never imagine not having this. Like, like bitch, I'm a whole cheetah. She the perfect bitch out in these streets. All right, the wine's kicking in. Next question. This is what I said had got bold because this is just popped up on my thing. How old were you when you had your first orgasm? Probably 20 something because boys don't know what they're doing. How's it dancing in Nashville white clubs? I like working in white clubs. I prefer to work in white or mixed clubs, like a gentleman's club versus the booty club. Like I'm not knocking bitches that work at the booty club because y'all bitches be lit and if I had it in me, you know, sometimes I be wanting to pop out, and mm, mm, mm. but I don't have all that in me. It's a totally different hustle. It's a totally different vibe. It's a totally different system. I really enjoy my club, especially because Nashville has so many rules that like, it's so easy to make money in there without doing anything outrageous. Like my club, it's a good time. It's really a good time. So I love it. Um, what's your favorite thing to do? What's my favorite hobby? Probably <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, my favorite hobby is probably making money. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything else that I like genuinely just do. I like doing my makeup a lot. I really enjoy doing my makeup. And this is probably really whack, but I like organizing and cleaning. I literally will clean my house every single morning. That's like a good time to me. 25 is a wild age. Who taught you to dance? You're so vibrant and sexy in one. Oh, thank you, boo. Me. I taught me. Me, myself, and I. I want to thank me for teaching me how to be me. Oh, like, literally, I really taught myself how to dance. Um, maybe a couple scrip of hoes at a club a time or two taught me how to left cheek, right cheek. But for the most part, being in the club, it's a very self-sufficient environment. There's not, like the movies really be having y'all convinced that there's some older stripper who always comes and like takes the baby strippers under her wing and teaches her a whole routine. And that's just not the thesis. It's not, you kind of just got to figure this shit out yourself. So get in front of the mirror, watch yourself, record yourself, watch other videos of girls, see what they're doing and see what it is that you want to do and then figure the fuck out. It's just kind of how we roll around here. What do you want more than anything in life? Hmm. Stability. Just a nice, confident stability moment. Because I have a really bad habit of, you know, just living a turbulent life, just being up and down, ups and downs. But I just want to be like solid, straight, lots of money being on my own time, walking into a room, people being like, Terry, and me being like, that's really what I want. How did you get the job at the club? I auditioned. That's how you get jobs at the strip club. You go in and audition, and if they like you, they hire you, and if not, they tell you dip. So audition, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? Ooh, 30 or 35, where do I see myself owning properties, owning, vehicles i really just want to pull a full jeffree star if you know what i'm saying like i really just want to be that level of mm, up there i'm honestly excited about turning 30. i say that now but i will literally spiral about this in 20 minutes i do look forward to being older because i don't think so many people realize i don't think people realize how many people that you idolize are actually in their 30s and shit like that like 20s are fun but like 30s are when you're like really solidly like getting your shit together and you're still pretty young when you think about it, you know? So 35, we'll see where we're at. We'll see what's good then. My bra size. You guys are, you guys are interesting. I don't know. I don't really wear bras. And when I do, it's at work 34C. And even then it looks fucking sad. Just 
air, space, caved in titties. How are you doing in life right now? Are you happy? I am trying not to spiral just because the world is potentially coming to an end. Oh, I'm good for the most part, but I'm genuinely concerned that if we go full blown Hunger Games, I have no skills. I have no assets to bring to the table other than clapping these cheeks and I'm not sure how far this is gonna take me in the Hunger Games, so. What is your ideal man? Like visually, I don't really, I like all the flavors. I don't really discriminate. So my ideal man, it might be a Tyler, it might be a Ty Sean, it might be a, I don't know another name, but bitch, it, I don't know who it could be. Just somebody who just is down to learn me and love me and ride things out with me and really do like a forever. You know what I'm saying? Like pinky square me forever. Do you like your job? Yes. You know what this little quarantine has made me realize? I actually do like being in the club. I thought I hated it, I really did, but like I miss the club. I would love to be in the club right now. Outside of the club, I work on social media and I love that. And I'm so thankful that because y'all fuck with me and y'all just tune into my nonsense, I get the opportunity to really start making social media my full-time gig. So big ups to y'all. How did I get into stripping? I think I already answered that. Like I said, if you guys want me to do just a stripper Q&A, drop your questions in the comments below or send them to me on Instagram. What was life like during your childhood? Crazy. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy because the next question is, what is my relationship with my parents? Um, This is getting deep out of nowhere. I had a pretty wild uh, childhood growing up. My dad was always gone either because he was like deployed or when I was young, my parents got divorced and he moved and he was working out of the country. So my dad was really gone and my mom, um, she kind of struggled with depression and bipolar disorder and alcoholism and she dibbled and dabbled with certain drugs and that was just like a really crazy situation growing up. So. Because of everything that was going on, me and my mom haven't always had the best relationship. So we honestly haven't talked since like 2013, I don't think. Um, and me and my dad, we have a good relationship. Um, the older I got, the more I was really able to appreciate all that he was doing from afar and all the efforts he was making. But like, we don't talk a lot just because I'm a very like, as far as my family is concerned, I'm very like, I don't know what the word is. I'm very distant. That's the word. I'm extremely distant just because I have been growing up on my own for so, so long that like, I don't know. It just, I don't feel the necessity to just constantly be in contact with everybody. I don't know if that makes sense. If you guys phone where I'm coming from, let me know. But yeah, my mom literally moved out when I was 14 years old. So I have been on my own since I was 14. That's why a lot of people, when they say that I'm really mature or things like that, I'll be trying to tell them it's because I haven't had a choice but to be mature for so long. But that's enough of getting deep. Let's get back to hopefully a fun question. Mm -hmm. um, do they support your sex work? Um, like I said, I don't know if my mom knows. I know my dad knows. But like, I pay my own bills and my dad said he's proud of me. So there's that. I'm like, like, I don't think my dad's like, yes! Get on the pole, girl. So proud. That's my girl. But I think my dad is just like, I completely understand everything that's gone on in your life and the choices that you're making and the fact that regardless, you have been completely self-sufficient. Hold it down. Have you ever been with a female sexually? No, the door does not swing both ways. I be playing though. I like playing. I'm very flirtatious, but like, mm, no. No, I'm not really about that. Favorite wig color and eye color pairings. You know, I love my blonde wig and y'all know I live in these gray contacts, so that's a good time. But honestly, this all dark hair moment with my contact popping tint. I got some honey brown contacts I'm gonna wear next month because these are actually prescription contacts. A lot of you guys ask me where I get them from, the optometrist. These are the AccuView brand, I think. Pretty sure it's what it's called, but these are in the color gray, not sterling gray, just regular gray. What is your dog's name? My dog's name is Francesca or Franny Lynn or Frenchie. So yeah, it just depends on 
how she's behaving. Is Francesca, if she's in trouble, or Franny Lynn when she's being just a cutesy patootsy, or Frenchie when I'm trying to get her attention. So like, she's got multiple names, but that's my girl. That is my girl. That was the very last question on there. So this was fun. If you guys want to do a part two and you guys have more questions, just drop them below in the comments. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. I know everything is crazy right now, but y'all, we'll make it through. We'll be all right. We're going to look back and be like, ah, 2020. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> but I am about to finish my wine and go hang out with my best friend because she's in my living room right now. So I hope you guys have a good night and thank you for watching. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell button below so you get notifications whenever I post new videos on here. Um, and follow me on Instagram so we can connect on the daily and the next time I post one of these Q&As, you can shoot them to me on the gram as well. All right, I'm gone.